Okay, let's sit and meditate for a few minutes. Nang pawana sa pakning. Close your eyes and think thoughts of goodwill. Goodwill is a wish for happiness, your happiness and the happiness of others. That's an important principle to keep in mind. This is why we're training the mind, because all too often, often we look for happiness in ways that can end up causing suffering for ourselves and other people. And that's not what we want, because that kind of happiness doesn't last. We want a happiness that harms nobody and can actually contribute to other people's happiness too. So we have to look inside, because that's where our own territory is. You've got the breath right here, and you've got the mind. You can focus on these things and find the happiness you want, if you do it skillfully. And this is why it takes so much time to do this. It's a skill that you have to work on. And in our modern society, we don't have many skills, but it's an important skill to have. The breath is the one process in the body that you can exert some control over so you can make it comfortable. So ask yourself right now, what kind of breathing would feel good? If you're feeling tired, breathe in a way that gives you more energy. If you're feeling tense, breathe in a way that's more relaxing. This is your breath. Nobody else can force you to breathe in an uncomfortable way, and yet all too often we let ourselves do just that. When the breath is uncomfortable, then the other processes in the body are uncomfortable too. And then the mind doesn't like staying here, and it starts getting irritable. And then it starts saying and doing things and thinking things that end up going to cause tr end up causing trouble. So start with the basics. Breathe in, breathe out in a way that feels good. And again and again and again. Try to stay with the breath all the way through. Notice what kind of breathing is too long, what kind is too short. Notice if you're trying to pinch off the end of the breath. Don't do that. Think of the breath relaxing and then coming in and relaxing and going out relaxing. So there's a sense of well-being all the way through the breath cycle. And then the trick is just try to maintain that, because the mind will have other agendas. It will suddenly remember something you left down in your room, something you left back home, something you've got to do today. Just drop those thoughts. Let them go. You don't have to wipe them out. Just let them go, and you get back to the breath. If you don't feed these thoughts, then they leave you after a while. It's like a stray dog. It'll come up and whine. and make trouble for you for a bit, but then if it realizes you're not going to feed it, it goes away. So treat your thoughts like stray dogs. In the meantime, you stay right here, because you've got to develop this sense of well-being inside, because there's so much outside in the world that can could come and destroy this so easily. Pull your attention away. So for the time being, you have to practice keeping your attention right here with the sensation, the breathing, and the body. Wherever the breath is felt, try to make it as comfortable as you can, and learn how to stay there. That way you give the mind a good foundation inside. You start with the basic foundations, and then you can build something solid. If the foundations aren't good, then no matter how much you may know about what you should be doing or when you're meditating or what you've heard about other people say when it's meditating, it all just falls down. Because the foundation, your awareness of the present moment, isn't solid. So try to stay right here and then build everything up from the basics. And that's when the progress and the happiness you want will be solid.